What's up friends welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to reinstall your Bluetooth driver on your Windows 11 PC, right? So the first thing I'm going to show you that my Bluetooth is turned on. So I'm going to click on the lower right hand side this arrow here to show hidden icons and as you can see Bluetooth is there. If I tap on that you will be able to see that it opens up my Bluetooth devices, right? Now how do you reinstall that? Simple right click on your Windows icon on your taskbar if you're using a Windows 11 and you simply want to go to device manager here right if you're not able to find that within the list if you're not if you're using a lower Windows you can simply go ahead and you can just simply click the Windows icon here and you can type device manager you'll find it there showing up from the search and you can open the device manager as well right so let me go ahead and maximize this so that you can see much better now from within the list guys you will see Bluetooth here and as you can see it is showing up here. Now you want to click on the arrow here to expand it and from here you will be able to see the Intel wireless Bluetooth. Right. So if your Bluetooth is not working guys you can simply right click on it and you can simply go ahead and disable it. Click yes. It will take a moment. It will mention that if you want to do it you need to restart your computer. No I don't want to restart my computer at the moment but you will get the idea once you tap on yes your computer want is going to restart and you will be able to disable this right now in order guys to enable it again after you restart your computer just simply go back to the same steps and click enable it will again ask if you want to restart your computer you can choose yes this will help to ensure that whatever actions you take will work as it should as you know after a computer is restarted it will work properly so I'm gonna simply click no at the moment now the next way you can simply do this guys is by simple go ahead and running an update you can check automatically if there is an update as well as you can check for additional drivers here to see if you're up to date with your Windows etc this will check to ensure that everything is up to scratch and working okay right now once you do that you check for updates guys you can always choose the option that says browse my computer for drivers you can do that and you can simply go ahead let me check a version and you can check to see if you have different versions here that you can choose from and you can select that option there and you can simply install and it will install the versions for you another way if your bluetooth is not working guys is that you can simply uninstall it if you uninstall this all you have to do afterwards is just simply go ahead once the uninstall process complete you can simply go to actions and then you can simply scan for hardware changes Keep in mind that sometimes when you scan for hardware changes, you might not see Bluetooth here after uninstall. And so you will need to go to the Intel website to download the latest version of the Bluetooth driver for yourself, right? So if you do the scan for hardware here and you're not able to see the Bluetooth driver, don't worry. All you have to do, just simply go over to the website here, which I'm putting within the description of this video. So you'll find this link here and all you have to do is just choose the appropriate driver for your computer. I would say in most cases, many computers are using uh, X64 bit, but if you're not using 64 bit, you can simply use a 34 bit. How do you know which version to use? Now, how do you find this guys to know which version of Windows you're using? Simple, click the Windows key on your keyboard or on your taskbar and you simply want to type in system info. You'll see system information here. You want to click on that. And from here you will see system type and you will see if you're using an x64 bit or 32 you will see it and from there you'll know which one to download so if you're using a 64 like myself you will download this version and in order to download all you have to do is just tap on it and you want to go ahead and accept the terms here and it will download for you as you can see here and as you can see mine is downloaded and i have it within my downloads folder you can simply double tap on it it will trigger the prompt for you to run it as administrator and all you have to do just complete the installation process and you will have it in your computer now you might need to restart your computer afterwards when you install this to have it working effectively but once you restart your computer you should be able to find that within your device manager again so once you go back you should be able to find bluetooth here and working fine now if you see bluetooth here working guys and you're not able to find the bluetooth on your computer right here like myself then it might be that your Bluetooth is disabled. It is installed, but it is disabled, right? So how do you do that? Again, click the Windows icon on your taskbar and simply type in Bluetooth. It will find the Bluetooth on other devices settings. You tap on that 
and you want to ensure that Bluetooth is turned on, right? So if yours is turned off, like no, you will see from my computer here again, I'm going to click on the lower right hand side on this upper arrow. And as you can see, there's no Bluetooth arrow, right? So that might be the case that yours is disabled. But once it is enabled again, and you go there, you will see that Bluetooth appears. This is very easy, guys, and very simple.